Hey guys, Paul here, PA Brew News. I'm over here in Paulsbo, Washington. Overnight, having a great time, bought a bunch of beer. Next beer review, bathroom beer review. Why not? I didn't do a bathroom beer review yet. Did one in Ohio, let's do one in Washington. Bathroom beer review. St. Ambrose Vintage Ale 2009. And it comes in a tube, Pringles style. So there it is. I don't know if I can set it here. Probably not, but the vintage Saint Ambrosia. Ambrois. So there you go. Product of Canada, Montreal, I do believe. There's the cap, and here's the beer in a taku in the bathroom. Oh my god, it's a twist off. Oh, that is such an insult. What is it with French Canadians and twits of twist offs? I just don't get it. You know, do you get it? I don't fucking get it. French Canadians and their twist offs. I just don't get it. As you can see, it's 9.8 alcohol by volume, and. She got some age on it now, big boy. Seven years. So, let's see what it is. I, I do believe it's a either a strong ale or a barley wine. But it's a vintage ale milestone. Milestone ale or whatever. But unfortunately, I think it's a barley wine. Or a strong ale. It has the hues of a barley wine. Beautiful caramel. Just faint orange. Hints, little brown tones when it's out of light, but just a beautiful caramel tone to it. All right? Nose. Hmm. Okay. There's actually a little bit of a brandy nose to it, too. A little spiced brandy, but loads of caramel, toffee, brown sugar. Yeah, the first initial hint was like a little bit of the ethanol alcohol and like bright peppery spiciness of almost a brandy. The alcohol is bringing up some of that still, but there's definitely a nice caramel note to it. Yeah, just a nice sticky caramel toffee raisin that's very enjoyable on the nose. Let's see how it is in the taste. Cheers. That's different. It's a medium body overall, and as you drink it back, it tapers to a low medium body, but it is definitely not as savory, sweet and juicy, or sticky rather, as I was hoping by the by the nose. Um, I think the alcohol and the aging process thinned it out a little bit. You get those caramels, raisins, brown sugar notes, especially up in front. But the water's off. It tapers off at the end. You don't get those big characteristics as you do in the forefront. Faint earthiness. Faint caramel. Little wafts of brown sugar now and again. A little soft caramel raisin. But it's a tapering, I mean, a tapering flavor and tapering mouthfeel at the end. It's just strange, it's strange, it kind of just, I hate to say it gets watery, but it kind of, you know, subsides towards the end. It's, it's not as nice as I was hoping. I mean, just, maybe I set myself up, I was thinking like, 2009 Vintage Ale from Fuller's was one of the best beers I think I've almost ever had. I mean, it was just so damn good. I mean, orange marmalade and honey and caramel raisins, brown sugar, the whole, oh my god. Um, I try not to detract from this beer by talking about Fuller's, but I think that's where the mind went with this one. And it's nice. I'd love to brew it. I'd love to make a beer this good. But... Overall, it's just not hitting the marks that I was hoping for, but especially with the age. That's strange. I 
but it's still a nice beer. It really is. It's just, it's not what I was hoping for, but it's still a nice beer. I can't remember what I paid for this. It's going to vary where you go, I'm thinking, the price of this beer. Because of the limited, it's going to get pretty limited probably by now, 2009. Uh, super happy I found it, though. Super happy I finally got a chance to try it. And overall, I'm going to pop it to about an 8. Overall, big old 8, 8.5. Look at that area. It's not pushing up to the 9s. The tapering, when it tapers off, like mid mid palate, midway, it tapers, and those flavors and that mouthfeel subside. That's why it's going to go down to about an 8, 8.5 range. So, but this has been Paul from Paper News. Bathroom review.